Well, it's been a while since we posted a video on our Atlantic Canada Take Two trip. And uh, the main reason is, well, motivation, I guess. Um, we uh, did a lot of videoing on when we were on the road, but uh, then we were having too much fun to, uh, to actually spend the time to edit this and put it back together. So I apologize for that. But uh, here we are uh, now departing Prince Edward Island as we left off on the last video. We transit a small way through New Brunswick to Nova Scotia, make a stop in Pugwash and in Tatamagouche. And here we go. journey takes us along the coast of the Northumberland Strait, which separates Nova Scotia from Prince Edward Island. And we shortly arrive in the small village of Pugwash. Pugwash is a strange name, um, but it's well known to me because back in the 1980s, the early 1980s, I worked for the company called Canadian Salt or Windsor Salt. Windsor Salt has a mine just off to the right here. And I've been down that mine several times and it was almost like coming home. Uh, however, that's not where we wanted to visit today. We wanted to actually visit the site of the Pugwash Conferences. In 1957, in this little village on the north coast of Nova Scotia, the first Pugwash Conference on Science and World Affairs was held. Its game is to bring scientific insight and reason to bear on mainly the catastrophic threat posed to humanity by nuclear and other weapons of mass destruction. In 1995, co-founder Joseph Rotblat, together with the Pugwash Conference, received the Nobel Peace Prize for their efforts on nuclear disarmament. Island video how windy it was as we were leaving PEI well the wind didn't abate so unfortunately uh, the microphone picked up the wind and not much of my uh, narration here basically the building ahead is the one where the, uh, the, the conferences are held and as we walk up here behind is the small village the small building uh, where people were housed the last of these conferences that was actually held in Pugwash was back in 2003, jointly with Nova Scotia's capital, Halifax. They are, however, held around the world, periodically, and uh, they are still an important contributor to the discussion about nuclear disarmament. Not really sure of the significance of this, but we parked across the road at the funeral home. Our initial plan for the day was to head off to New Glasgow um, and stay in a hotel there. We did buy the uh, camper van so we would have the option of staying in the van or at hotels or parking somewhere in town. But as we passed through this lovely little village, we noticed there was a uh, microbrewery, 
and some nice looking shops. And we decided, perhaps, it was worth our while to explore a little bit. However, as the village was so small, by the time we had absorbed what was there and decided to stay, we had passed through and we had to turn around and come back. We parked in a parking lot behind the main street and headed off to explore. The microbrewery had some eclectic gifts and an interesting beer list, so we decided to try a flight and uh, weren't disappointed. The microbrewery, however, did not serve food, but they directed us next door to the butcher's shop, which uh, made sandwiches, and we also bought some delicious meat from there. But on the way through, we had noticed a sign for the Railway Inn. And as we headed back out, we thought, well, let's take a look at what this Railway Inn thing is. And as we've always enjoyed trains and historic things like uh, related to trains, well, it was worth a try. Well, we certainly weren't disappointed. The railway inn is in the old the train station. And it has a wonderful story about uh, somebody who, when he was quite young, decided to buy the uh, shut, closed down railway station and over the last many years has accumulated a number of very interesting rolling stock including what was the governor general's car uh, at one point in time they also had a cafe restaurant dining car gift shop and as it turned out the old carriages are in fact their rooms of the inn so, we had to stay. Our room for the night was in Boxcar Jimmy. Now, a number of these uh, rooms that they have are much more expensive, but uh, they take up the entire carriage. Boxcar, boxcar Jimmy, which was ours, was just uh, half of a boxcar but it was delightfully made up. Everything was fresh and clean and, uh, and very bright. But interestingly, the floor itself was not at all updated and you could see right through to the rails and parts. Fascinating. Now, of course, we, uh, we couldn't resist checking out the dining car for dinner and once again we were far from disappointed uh, we had a very very delightful time of dinner here and um, well we recommend it to anybody who uh, might be interested at all Tatamagush, we did indeed stop in New Glasgow. We stayed for two nights in a hotel, got caught up on laundry and a few other things before heading off to Cape Breton Island, where, when I get around to it, the next video will focus. Mm -hmm.